right, all right. So now that we know my sign, <laughs> y'all clue me in because y'all been through this whole process. Like, so what's what's good for me? What's, <laughs> tell me. What you want to know? know? We got so many things I mean, to what, tell you. I mean, what what should I match up with? Uh, as okay, you are Leo. Leo's. Leo's are most compatible. Are you need to know your chart. Aries, <laughs> Aquarius, and Sagittarius. So the other two fire signs. I mean, I've dated all three, so I can confidently tell you that it hasn't worked out. <laughs> <laughs> but supposedly, according to the stars, that's what we're most compatible with. You 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 go with this. Uh, you. <laughs> well, you need to know your chart at the end of the day because it's not just about your overall sign. It's about which you can paddle in with your houses as well. Oh. Yeah. I paid attention. <laughs> so, so, so how much did y'all buy into this before y'all got involved with the show? I mean, were y'all always reading your horoscope and stuff like that? Or? Not at all. <laughs> For me, uh, not at all. I grew mm -hmm. up on, on an astrologer guru that is, I don't know, he's either Mexican his name is Walter Mercado, and we would watch our horoscope every day. But it wasn't something where I was like, oh my God, if I do not look up my horoscope today, it wasn't like that. Like, I don't know everything about horoscope and things like that. Yeah. That's I mean, the I most was I always, did. Yeah, I was always super interested in my horoscopes and like my monthly readings and all that stuff. And I, I mean, yeah, I would buy them for like $5. Oh, you know, and it's a spend that you a big oh, spender. Yeah. Yes, but like, I wouldn't really like remember everything that I'm reading or be like, I better watch out because on this day, this this is go what's gonna happen to me. I just was very curious and open. I feel like to, all, to yeah. some degree, we're all open to to it. Same, yeah. I mean, I looked into it a little more and was kind of getting into it before the show happened um, or the experiment, I guess. And I. I didn't well, really did his research. I just asked him questions. Of the like, show. So no, no, no. It had nothing to do with the show. So a year, a year before the experiment happened, I had somebody get me into it and was just like, "There's more to it than just your sun sign." Is it an egg? No, it wasn't. It was a. It was a current friend's girlfriend. Was like, "What are you like? You guys are all friends. What are your moon and sun signs or moon and rising signs?" And I was like, "What is that?" <laughs> and then she kind of had us go through and get our natal charts and we went further into it and I was like oh my god that's why we, you and I are friends because we or like you look at the people who are in your life and you're kind of like well that makes sense because we're really close and I'm not really close to that person but we make it work because we're family blah 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 it's interesting because you I got since doing the show I have become so much more aware of signs that I naturally gravitate towards mm -hmm. like all my best friends are either Gemini's or Sagittarius can you pick somebody out? Well, like, Capricorn. You've out with somebody for a day. I'm a Gemini. We were I can guess. I can <laughs> guess. Y'all been with this. Y'all been with this great crew all day. Could you see like? Was you, I you there? Caramans and Sagittarius. Right there? <laughs> you know that? Nah. <laughs> no. I'm not that good. You gave Leo. You gave Leo though. Leos like to dress. Uh, yes. My my mom is a Leo, and she. I feel like I get my the way I dress and my style from my mother. Cause she's always tried to dress good and you like combine colors too. So like, I feel like you gave Leo when you came in there. That was just that Brooklyn thing. That was no, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so how about trusted sources? I mean, I know y'all have, have the twins in this show and I mean, but can't you get like some bootleg horoscope somewhere? Like, is it, is it always, I mean, I know the signs are matched, but as far as horoscopes, like, can you trust it in any app or email or anything? Like, is, it, is it supposed to be trusted horoscopes or? That's a good question. question. I, should I have, have no idea. Yeah, anything. I mean, I feel like that's a better question for the Ashford Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They, they, would, they would definitely know. That would be a question. question. I mean, I know they have a book. They're yeah. published, so they, they're, they're trusted. Yeah, they're incredible yeah. for sure. But I know certain apps are like, like Hosa, I know like that's like one of the, yeah. off the, yeah. they're yeah. trying with the Ashford Swin told me, okay, they're right on point. Like, yeah. they're very similar. The pattern, co-star. Yeah, the pattern's a good one too. But no. how, how does it feel like to be on this this show and then and reveal because as we've grown up now on social media we reveal like probably a lot more than stuff in the past about it but to be on a television show and have cameras following you like that I mean, how how does that feel to like I mean, it hasn't been viewed by everybody haven't seen it on prime yet yeah. that, that's gonna see it. How, how does it feel to have like the world people all these strangers that you don't know kind of prying into your lives. I feel like people watch me already. Like, just my everyday life, I'm tall, so. But I, what? I know. I'm tall, I'm not say attractive, but. <laughs> like, people watch me at my gym, people watch me in the streets, like. So I'm used to attention, so having cameras there wasn't really too big of a thing for me. Like, I felt normal, I felt natural, because at the end of the day, I came there to find love, and that's what I went out there to do. I just 
as long as I'm myself, you're gonna love me or you're gonna hate me. But I'm just gonna be me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm a model, I have a brand on social media, so like I'm very used to that kind of exposure and attention. But I do think it's a completely different type of vulnerability mm -hmm. to have a, a dating show released. You know, like, I can definitely say, tear, I cried on this show, you know? I also <laughs> laughed and experienced all the emotions, but I don't yeah. necessarily, shut up. <laughs> I don't necessarily cry all the time on social media, you know? So yeah. people are seeing a, a, a much more vulnerable side of myself, but I, I also got to know that vulnerable side of myself too. So it's it's going to be a journey hand in hand that I went through that the audience is going to get to experience with each of us, which I think is going to be really beautiful. I don't think we're even going to know until it's really out. Right. I don't think we're gonna, like, we're we can't even talk yeah. about that until yeah. it's out because once it's out, we're going to be able to see what people, and I mean, there's going to be people that's going to love it, it's going to hate it. But regardless of the fact, I feel like me and these guys, we all presented ourselves in our best way. We were genuine, we were honest, mm -hmm. and we were ourselves. Mm -hmm. And we we're good with that. Yeah. We're good with that. Yourself, like, I feel like it doesn't really matter what anyone else will have to say. They're going to love you or they're not going to love you. Yeah. But you can't change who you are. How, were, you skeptical, were you skeptical that you was going to find love on the show, or was it was just going to be a show? Did you think that it would work um, out? I or? mean, they gave us a time limit yeah. of how long we were going to be shooting, and I was like, absolutely not. I'm not finding anybody <laughs> that I'm going to want to either spend a, like a committed relationship the rest of my life, so on, so forth. In four to six weeks, that's not going to happen. And then you kind of go into a situation with no distractions, no work, no outside kind of um, things dividing like your attention. Yeah, yeah you're absolutely. there with these people, um, friends or otherwise, for 24 hours a day for four to six weeks. like. The bonds get deeper and things happen a lot more quickly when you're giving 100% of your attention to somebody else and they're giving 100% of their attention to you. So you can kind of fast track sort of certain relationships, even friendships, um, through that kind of situation. And I was skeptical at first, then you're kind of halfway through it and you're like, damn, oh, fucking, I kind of like these people. <laughs> I didn't like that guy at first, but we had a couple of drinks and now we're talking about how we're going to be sitting on a front porch drinking uh, and listening to music for the rest of our lives. And just... They couldn't have heard that, that they're beautiful also. I mean, yeah, that, I, mean, I, mean, I know it's not, I want to be superficial, but you know, <laughs> but they did put like, they... that's the first attraction physical attraction and then you have that physical attraction you get to know them even more and then if they have that for me personally if they have that personality that I enjoy then that just upgrades them if they don't then that downgrades them to that attraction that first physical attraction it goes higher or it goes lower okay so no I'll get right so <laughs> get ready for this <laughs> did, did, did you watch data shows before like I, I mean all of the married at first oh, sight I, or anything? I was doing research I was, no, but I did. I, I was really doing research. I think I, I watched a few shows before actually going on the show just to make sure, like, of the things that I wanted to be inspired by and the things that I, I wanted to transmit while, while I was being, while I was on the show. So um, I think I watched, was the one in Netflix, and is like, a uh, machine is talking to them. Too hot, to oh, too hot to handle. I watched that one, Love is Blind, I watched. So I watched a few, and... You know, I liked them, and I think they were cool, and I knew our show was going to be completely different than what was out there. That made me scared as hell to watch those <laughs> shows. Will you ever watch any shows like this the same again after being part of a show and being part of a production and knowing, like, how it goes? And well, right being now, the honest, I want to be completely honest with you guys, and this is just being transparent. transparent. I watch a lot of shows before going because I was doing research. I haven't watched shows after going on the show. <laughs> So that's just me keeping it real. I really haven't. Yeah, I really yeah. haven't watched them. Some people have told me about a few shows, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I watch them, and then I don't know. No, I don't lie. Yeah. to watch them afterwards, because <laughs> now that you know everything that goes into it, it's not necessarily, um, it's just kind of, once you find out how the it's, sausage it's like, is made, yeah, you don't really want to eat sausage. Different things will give you flashbacks. Anymore. Like, yeah. oh my gosh, like that's... Oh, they tell us an interview here, and this is what they're doing right now, yeah, and this is like, how they're Oh, like, doing. I can feel, like, how much they don't want to be having this conversation, but, like, they have to be having this conversation. Oh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, last question before we go. What's the, whatever your sign is, what's the most uh, tangible characteristic of your sign that you represent that, that, that's, like, the stereotypical 
What's your sign? Mine is a Pisces. So what's the most Pisces thing that you do? Um, I'm very protective of people I love and people I care for. So that's probably, they probably hit the, hell, hit the nail on the head like really hard on that one because I always try to uplift the people who I'm around and I want them to be great. And if you're gonna be around me, you either gotta be happy, you gotta be uplifted or you shouldn't be around me. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I'm a boss. So I'm all about my business. That's very Capricorn of me. Um, I'm always trying to elevate myself, elevate the people that I love, and spend, people, spend time with the people that I love. But it's really about business when it comes to Capricorn. And I think that that's one of the biggest things that I have. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, as a Leo, I, I'm a performer. I uh, am ruled by the sun. So I lo just love to perform and shine bright. And I love to make other people feel like they're shining bright. And I'm loyal to the core, like the Leo lions that we are. <laughs> Leo love. Um, yeah, so I would say I definitely represent Leo to the core. Gemini, air sign, head in the clouds. Can't make a decision, just trying to keep <laughs> things light and airy. And not serious. I know, sometimes we're happy, sometimes, sometimes we're not. Yeah, we're doing it. Well, I, I was only got to check out a few episodes, but love it so far. I love that Cree Summer is involved in it too. I've always been a fan of, of, of her also. Um, but can't wait till the rest of the world gets to see Cosmic Love and gets to follow our journey and see where this, where this all goes. Thanks for your time. Hey, thank, of you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody.